Hello everyone, this is Hunter at Vapor Honing Technologies and today we're going to be discussing the Weekend Warrior and why it is the perfect vapor blaster for a hobbyist type person using this machine. So first we're going to start with what is a vapor honing machine. So a vapor honing machine is a blasting machine that uses water and abrasive in a slurry mixture to create a flow clean over parts. So you can get pretty much any finish you want out of this process, whether you need surface roughness, a matte finish, a polished finish, or a satin finish. That's what this machine does and it's just gonna be a great tool to have that is so different from any other process out there. So much cleaner, so much easier to use, a lot safer for your parts, given that there's no embedding, no packing, no warping, no tolerance changes. So it's definitely a really good tool to use in your shop. So as I said before, here is the Weekend Warrior. This is our hobbyist machine. It offers a 33 by 30 by 28 interior workspace. It's a really, really good size. It fits about 85% of parts across the board. So to give you guys a little bit of reference, you can fit a swing arm in here comfortably. You can fit probably a rim in here from a motorcycle comfortably. Now, if we look inside here, there is an internal light up here on the top. That is called our LED floodlight for this machine. Envision it like a floodlight on the side of a house. So this is in the top left corner. It shoots light across the cabinet. Now, if you are working on taller parts, it can create some shadowing if it's blocking the light. So you may have to turn the part of the piece that you're blasting toward the light so you can blast a little bit more accurately and get an idea of what the finish is gonna look like. Also inside of here, you guys can probably see it right here. This is our window rinse function. So you're also gonna receive a window rinse with this cabinet. What that does is it's going to wash down your window so that you have a clear sight line through to what you are blasting while you're blasting the piece. Obviously, if you get backsplash, if you're using a dark abrasive like silicon carbide that we have in this cabinet, you may wanna set it for around 30 seconds, which is the lowest that timer will go. Maybe if you're blasting a smaller piece, you know, you don't really need the window rinse that much because it's more flat. You're not gonna get as much backsplash. Maybe you set the timer for a longer period of time before that window rinse fires. It's really up to your discretion, but it goes as low as 30 seconds and you can set the duration of the spray as well. Uh, usually I like a couple seconds because it's enough to wash the window off, but it's not too much to where it continuously just goes and goes and goes. On the inside, you have the internal rinse down nozzle, which is gonna look like this. That is good for an after wash of your parts after you're done blasting, even though the Abrasive won't pack, it won't embed. It's still gonna flow with the water, so you're naturally gonna have some abrasive residue left over on your pieces. That's what makes that piece very, very, very good to have in your cabinet because you can rinse your parts down after you're done blasting with the blast gun and the abrasive in the water that you have in the cabinet. So the next feature we're going to talk about on this cabinet is the foot pedal down here. So obviously this is gonna turn your machine on and off. It's a lot better than an on off switch and you can operate it with your foot. It's very convenient when you step on this, your agitation system that is in your hopper is gonna start going and you'll hear it start going along with your pump. And that means your machine is running when you step off that cuts off, your machine stops. It's a lot easier to run the machine that way rather than having like a push pull, which is what makes this feature right here so convenient. Now we'll talk about the hopper as well because a lot of people have questions about this. So with a wet blast process, if you're running on an open loop system or a closed loop system, how does your abrasive stay inside of the cabinet? Down here in the hopper, underneath the floor, you're gonna have your pump and that pump has an agitation system as mentioned before. So what that agitation system does when you step on your foot pedal, it will start the machine, it will start mixing that abrasive and water together. And then when you step off the foot pedal, that agitation stops. So your abrasive, it's gonna be more dense than water. Now, if you're using maybe like a fine glass bead, it's gonna take a little bit longer to settle versus a silicon carbide, which is a lot heavier, a lot more aggressive it will settle quicker. Usually we recommend you wait about two minutes before you open the ball valve on the other side, which we'll talk about here in a minute. When that agitation stops, your abrasive sinks. That's how you achieve the abrasive staying in the hopper. 
So the abrasive always stays down here. There's always 18 gallons of water in this hopper. That's how you achieve the abrasive staying in the cabinet. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is this side of the machine, the features, what everything does. So on this side here, we've changed these up a little bit. Some of you may already have weekend warriors that have a double switch electrical box. We've switched it to a single switch electrical box. This is technically easier, even though it's just the flick of a switch. But if you flip it this way, obviously everything's off. You can see the lights turned off. Everything is off with the machine right now. Flip it on, everything is on right now. So simple as that, that's your electrical box. Very simple, very easy to use. Down here, we have a regulator on this machine. It is a standard regulator that's bracketed at the back of this machine. The Weekend Warrior does have this now. So basically like any simple regulator, you can adjust your airflow at the machine instead of doing it from the compressor. Makes it a lot easier to see where you're operating, where you're set at, rather than operating it from the air compressor and having to worry about, you know, volume of air, air loss getting to the machine. So it just makes everything easier to manage from the machine instead of trying to switch it on your compressor. Cause I'm sure you guys have other tools in your shop that you run off of the compressors. This right here, is our overflow valve. Now on the Weekend Warrior, this is one of the biggest questions we get. Do I leave this open or closed when I'm blasting? If your machine is running, this needs to be closed. And the reason for that is because if you leave this open and your agitation system inside your hopper is running and your media is flowing all throughout the hopper, you're gonna lose every bit of media you have in this hopper. And then you're gonna have to wash it out of your basin and spend extra time doing that. You always wanna make sure that this remains closed. Now let's talk about the functionality of this as well. So this is used to drain off excess water from your window rins that's inside of your machine and your internal rins to rinse down your parts after you're done blasting. Obviously, you know, this is gonna add extra water to the internal of the machine. So you're going to have to drain that out. Now, this is where I was talking about, you know, the one and a half to two minutes of letting abrasive settle. So basically what happens is you need to equalize your water and abrasive ratio inside of the cabinet. And we recommend that you stop and do this every 20, 30 minutes. Um, depending on how you know much you're blasting or your frequency or your volume of blasting that day could vary anywhere from actually 15 to 30 minutes. But when you step off the foot pedal, you need to let your abrasive settle about a minute and a half, two minutes. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up and you can see how it starts draining off. This is just draining the excess water that's inside of the hopper. Now, if you run on an open loop system, this will just drain off into either a floor drain, a five gallon bucket, anything that can catch water is where that will drain off to. We have this set up on a closed loop circuit, but let's pretend this is done draining. So if this is done, you're gonna close this back up and then resume your blasting. Or if you're done for the day, turn your machine off and then get ready to get back at it tomorrow. There's two more ball valves down here and I'll try to move this out of the way here. So right down here at the bottom, there's two more ball valves. The one on the very bottom, if you're cleaning your machine, that's gonna drain everything that's in your hopper out of your hopper. So if you want to drain just water, let's say your water's dirty, your abrasive is not ready to be changed. That middle ball valve is gonna be what you wanna open after your abrasive settles. So make sure your abrasive settled. It's best to do it maybe in the morning when you're not blasting. Just open that up, drain all the water off that's in the machine, reload it with clean, fresh water if your abrasive is not ready to be changed. Again, if your abrasive is ready to be changed, you can either open up the bottom ball valve and try to catch everything that's coming out, or we have a video that's in the description below that will show you how to clean it and the method we use to clean our machines here in the showroom. So we will slide this back here. So next is the open closed loop conversation. We get asked about this all the time. What's best for me? what's best for my shop, what's the best to use, which one has advantages, which one doesn't. So we're gonna hammer that out really quick. With this machine, we have it set up on a closed loop system. We don't quite have hose to run open loop to all of our machines in here. So it's easier for us to do a closed loop system. So basically the closed loop makes the machine self-contained. It is a $650 add-on for this machine in particular, but it does not require a water source or a drain source. So as you could see, when we were draining off that top ball valve, the top tank is where that water was going. That's your sediment tank. So that's where anything, you know, that you blast off your parts is gonna settle. And then there is a drain valve in this that goes to the bottom basin. Once that starts overfilling and that stuff's settling out, the water will go down to the bottom and this pump will suck it back up into the machine when needed for your window rinse and your internal rinse down nozzle. So that's essentially how the closed loop system works. 
Now, the advantage to closed loop is that it's more convenient. It makes everything self-contained. It's gonna save you water. Um, so that is your main advantages with closed loop. Open loop, none of this is here. So you don't have basins whenever you're running an open loop system. Basically, you would either have this routed to a floor drain, um, a five gallon bucket, anything that can catch water that you can use is where you will have that top ball valve routed to. Basically, with the open loop, instead of the water coming from this basin to go to your window rinse and your internal rinse down nozzle, a water hose, like a garden hose that has a regular garden hose fitting on it, if you get an open loop when you receive your machine, it will hook into the water solenoid here on the back and it basically just screws in there. Like I said, it's a normal garden hose fitting. And then when you're using the machine, it's constantly pulling that fresh water in for your window rinse every time it fires. And whenever you are rinsing down your parts inside of the cabinet, it's pulling water from your garden hose into the cabinet. And then obviously it's gonna add that excess to your hopper. So you have to drain that off every 20 to 30 minutes again is the best recommendation. And that will drain into a floor drain or a five gallon bucket, wherever you have it routed to. Now, the advantage of open loop is obviously that it's gonna keep your water fresher for longer. That is the big advantage you get with the open loop because you're always pulling fresh water in, always getting this old water and contaminants out of your system because most of the contaminants are gonna float on the water in the hopper. So they'll flow out of this overflow valve with the excess water that's inside of the hopper at the time that you drain it. So moving to the back of the cabinet here, I'm gonna step around to the far side. All right, so stepping back here to the back of the cabinet, we have an exhaust pipe. A lot of questions are always asked about the exhaust pipe. Does it need to go outside? You know, what comes out of it? So the main thing that this is used for in a vapor honing cabinet is going to be air equalization inside of the cabinet because as you're putting air in, it needs to equalize and come out somewhere. So that is the main thing that should be coming out of this vent stack here is just air. If you have fog coming out, it could be that you're atomizing your water because your pressure set too high or you're just in a humid environment. If you are in a climate controlled area, that's probably the best place to have the machine is somewhere where it's climate controlled. If you're not, just know if you have fog, it may be because it's humid or your pressure set too high. So that's what this is for, um, just to equalize your air inside of the cabinet. You have an air inlet here, which is what sends air to your gun. This is where the line from your regulator is gonna come to give air to the inside of your cabinet at your blast gun. You also have the window rinse solenoid and the water rinse down solenoid. So this is what's gonna give water to your window rinse or water to your internal rinse. Your water does not have to be pressurized if you're running an open loop system coming to this cabinet because the solenoid is gonna fill the line for you. You also have your timer right here that you can adjust and make sure that you are set to where you wanna be with your window rinse. Again, typically these don't go below 30 seconds, but you can set it you know, to however you want to, to your liking whenever you're blasting. Just find something that works best for you with this timer and then I would keep it set there. So this machine is standard 110. So you're gonna see our electrical cord is plugged up here. It does come with a GFCI on it. So all you do is plug this up to the wall. This machine is a 110 only. You cannot get this machine in a 220. Every machine will come standard with the GFCI that you just plug in. All right, so now we're gonna put this machine into use and show you guys a little bit about how it works. Remember, this machine does have a very aggressive abrasive in it. It has a silicon carbide in it. Now, typically on this part, we would use maybe a glass bead, maybe a glass bead aluminum oxide mixture. Just for the sake and purpose of showing you how the Weekend Warrior works, we're gonna use the Weekend Warrior that has the silicon carbide in it. And then we're gonna do one in glass bead, show you how the glass bead looks as well. Uh, so stay tuned for our results. So as you could see with the before and afters, you can see why I would have preferred glass bead on that part because it did polish it up. And this is a good time to bring up that all cabinets performances are the same. It's more about the abrasive you're using, the pressures you're using on the parts rather than the cabinet itself. You may notice that we have a lot of different varieties, you know, anything from 17 by 13 by 13, all the way up to 60 by 48 by 38. All of these cabinets perform the same. It's just a matter of size and features that make the difference. But there's a reason that this weekend Warrior is our most popular cabinet ever. There's, there's actually two reasons. So one of them is the price point. This cabinet to get into a cabinet this size is 2864 open loop, 3514 closed loop. 
you're not gonna find anything else like this on the market right now for this good of a price. So for $3,500, if you go closed loop, almost three grand if you go open loop, you can get fully started with this. And the second reason is gonna be the performance of this cabinet. As stated before, all the performances across all the wet blast cabinets are the same. It's just a matter of size and features. Uh, but for a hobbyist cabinet that's this size, it has a heck of a performance. Um, also, heck of a price, really good price. Get it today and capitalize on it. It's important to note that if you're going for a weekend warrior, this is not a high production model. Yes, all of our cabinets perform the same, but this is geared more towards hobbyists with hobbyist features. So if you need a bigger cabinet, please take a look at the rest of our lineup. If you need more of an industrial cabinet, Day 100 FL may be great for you. There's a video down below as well on that. Um, to show you a little bit about the 800 FL. And the last thing I wanna mention is the upgrade program. So if you're a smaller business or a hobbyist, you're just starting out and you want something this size, don't be afraid because we have the upgrade program. So you're not gonna be stuck with this cabinet. It's not like you have to go with a huge 60 by 48 by 38 cabinet up front. You can actually go with this cabinet, get a full price of what you paid on it to trade it in and to upgrade to another model like the 800 FL. So all you're responsible for is the difference and the shipping, unless you come pick it up, you'll have shipping free. Now, utilize the upgrade program. This is the perfect place to start with. The upgrade program is there for a reason. So you don't have to start with the huge cabinet. You can start here and big as your business grows. That's our goal with this upgrade program is just to grow with you and always be there with you. Um, and as always, if you guys have any questions, if you guys need anything, any help, 828-202-5563 is our number. Call us anytime.